is Minecraft's next update, like the one after 1.21 almost done? And oh boy, tons of new Minecraft leaks. Top of the morning to you laddies, this is me Waddles and welcome back. Over the course of today's video, we're gonna dive into some exciting new developments in the Minecraft world and speculate on what's going on with 1.21.10. Down below, I need your help more than ever before. Tap that like button and let's go. So we've got a lot to talk about today. Now let's kick it all off over at the local Minecraft village that has been ravaged by none other than the demonic bot. Just in time for Minecraft 1.21, potentially, the bog has gotten a gigantic upgrade. For some reason, this terrible guy that was meant to inflict poison was also inflicting slowness. Well, all right. This would only happen when in water, but speaking of when in water, oh my gosh, those bubbles, you take a look at them and look at what's happening as they deplete and go away, they pop. Well, well, listen. Yeah, they actually pop now, and when they pop, oh, but why am I getting so excited about this? But when they pop, they make a small little dark icon as well, so you can kind of like visually see how many bubbles are actually properly gone. Also, check out this drought. I don't know what's going on, but like that swimming animation, that looks way better too. Uh, uh, all righty then. Beautiful bubbles that not only look good, but also sound good too. Bog that when in water are not inflicting slowness, only poison. And potentially, maybe updated swimming animations? I don't know. This all amounts to Minecraft 1.21 secretly being the water update of all time. Hey, also, by the way, when you're drowning now, instead of your hearts bobbing and wiggling, the bubbles are the empty ones bobble and wiggle. No clue why I'm not unlifing, though. <laughs> I don't think that's part of the update. Moving on, next stop, it's kind of perfect. This abandoned village is exactly what I needed for this change. You see the cobweb right here? Well, you kind of know how if you break it with the sword, it breaks a little bit quicker. Previously, the mace was also breaking these things quicker, almost as if it was literally a retextured sword with a different crafting recipe. Yeah, so due to how combat works on Minecraft Bedrock, the mace is not going to have that cooldown that we've been talking about in the recent Java snapshots. And now it is 1.21, unfortunately. The mace is not insanely powerful against the cobweb either. All right, so a little spoiler alert, but some of the changes we're talking about in today's video are actually not from the most recent preview, but instead from the preview that we briefly talked about in this video right here. Those first couple of changes, including this monumental water bubble and sound one, I kind of overlooked them. But at the same time, the other half of things, including a lot of the new leaks, are from an even newer preview. In this video right here, we took a look at this. Oh, it's beautiful, that sound. It's so good. I love that hardcore toggle. Even the aesthetic of the button, like, I'm getting more and more envious daily. What we never found out is when you tab create the world right here, you get this little warning just like normal, but this button has been updated as well. It's clean. Anyways, to check out our next change in hardcore Minecraft, we have to do not very well. Eventually, after taking a ton of damage from a lot of unrelated various sources, unfortunately, I might end up unlifing. And if somehow I ever eventually unlife in Hardcore Minecraft, I've got a new option. I can either spectate the world or exit the world. This button has been renamed, properly adjusted. They did it to match what Hardcore Minecraft actually is. But wait, there's more. That Hardcore World screen, yeah, that's clean looking in the menu list right here. We flip it over to the grid style, and it's kind of like the same aesthetic. Ooh, that's such a cool way to distinctify the world. Dressing room, character creator, edit character. Inside of the character creator, we have a renamed area. Well, I'm decently familiar with the character creator, but I don't really know what's renamed. However, those icons right there, those are absolutely different. And these icons right there too, I don't remember those before. Look, don't get me wrong, I like words, some of them are nice, but who, pictures? Don't even get me started. Yeah, so according to the changelog, the most recent preview updated the dressing room category names for headwear, outerwear, and footwear. I don't know what they would have been before, but they still say outerwear, headwear, and footwear right now. Whew, while we're at it, we might as well go for a grand slam when it comes to character creator things. The 15 days of Minecraft, the giveaway. When I recorded this video, we are on day number 15, but for some reason, that final unlock hasn't showed up quite yet. This is like a little later than most of the other days. So far, a ton of these things are so fire and you gotta get them before they're gone. Once they're gone, they're literally gone forever. Speaking of capes, time is also running out to claim the three capes, the limited edition, the Twitch cape, this one right here, and the 15 year cape is so clean. Leaks. Today, I would like to send a massive whopping thank you and shout out to Smokey Stack. It's been a while since we were talking about Minecraft leaks and I honestly missed it. My soul craves it. The one before the most recent preview seems to be getting three new UIs ported to OR UI and 
their in-game UI. All right, so this is where things get big, large, and absolutely massive because in-game UI, that could mean something like the inventory or the creative inventory and recipe book as well. In-game UI, that could also mean something as massive and used every second practically as the crafting table. And speaking of its brother, the sibling, the furnace. Oh boy, it looks like the Furnace UI is getting some sort of update coming soon to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Will it come in this update? Will it come in the next update? It's probably starting to look like it might be in the next update, but either way, a UI update. I wonder if this means on the sad end of the spectrum, on the slightly less exciting side of things, this could mean maybe a recipe book for the Furnace is finally coming to bedrock edition please no, no 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 instead i'm gonna hope and pray that it means a cleaner updated inventory for an inventory i don't know what you want to call it the whole ui right here it's changing back over to our leaked screenshot the next things we can see is gameplay hub params and a gameplay hud so look this could be absolutely massive i would be shocked if minecraft does it because this will change literally everything but gameplay hud does that perhaps mean what you see while you're playing the game for example the hot bar the experience the hearts the hunger everything like that are they actually going to do it i never thought this would change yeah so so far a lot of updates most of those updates being relatively minor ones but they all add together to make the game feel even more polished and smooth than ever before now let's take a look at this first changelog from minecraft 1.21.10 this was an absolutely massive beta it did so much next up let's take a look at the changelog for 1.21.10.21 the follow-up surprisingly this changelog is already massively shrunk usually but not always when a changelog shrinks down to the size that it just did and only really fixes bugs the update's just about done what's going on quite famously very recently minecraft 1.21 pre-release number one on java edition release strangely enough with both of these updates seemingly headed fastly towards a the release they're the same but they're really not and like that's ignoring massive changes that are just apparently never going to be the same for example the mace's different cooldown time and slightly different attacking mechanics one of the biggest parody differences between 1.21 on either version of the game has to do with the witch on minecraft to java when you take out a witch inside of 1.21 you're always going to get four to eight redstone dust alongside whatever else in the world the witch feels like dropping but you could totally say for 1.21 mesh what's the big deal witch mitch I gotta be careful with that one. Two snapshots ago, a large trial chamber change was made over on Minecraft Java, having to do with their generation. This change could potentially lead to the chamber not being in perfect parity when it comes to like where it generates in your world on both the versions of the game. And those are just two of the many parity differences between Java and Bedrock 1.21. Those things don't exist on Bedrock, except they do. You see, both the Witch update and the Deep Dark Trial Chamber Generation update, they have made it over to Minecraft Bedrock. Only, instead of being in 1.21, they're seemingly going to be included inside of 1.21.10, the update that seems to be wrapping up right now. So that's the thing that makes me wonder. If 1.21.10 seems to be winding down before 1.21 is even out, are the updates going to just be combined? Especially taking into account the fact that there are so many leaks going on. The stuff is being added, but not actually implemented. You've also got some pretty nice changes and adjustments that would be cool to see in parity by the release of 1.21. What do you think? Smokey stack back to the legend. So there are so many leaks inside of this preview. That means the stuff is inside of the files, but it's just not front and center actively being used in the update quite yet. We'll start things off with some brand new assets you'll be able to find in game around your game once they're eventually added. Like all of the other ones that look like this, this graphical style is so clean. Now some examples as to where some of those things might end up popping up. If we tap on realms, we can see a cool art style exactly matching those new leaked ones. I'm not too sure specifically where those leaked ones will actually end up popping up, but there are plenty of different menus in the game where they could totally fit in. Inside of the first preview for 1.21.10, the devs were messing around with touch controls again and actively are still seeking more feedback on the new controls. We got a bunch of brand new video tutorials that were found in game showing you how touch controls work. Ah yes, water, the thing we're mostly built out of, and also a huge controversial thing. You see, between both versions, Minecraft Bedrock and Java, water's aesthetic is entirely different. That's because it's rendered completely different. Well, maybe not for long. 
I mean, to find out just how big it is, we'll have to wait and see, but we do have a leak involving water and deferred rendering, aka shaders. And at least to me, if they're going to update how water is rendered for the deferred rendering thing, maybe that involves some normal, non-deferred, non-shader rendering changes as well. I wonder what it could all mean. Beautifully, and this is music to my ears, but more experimental camera presets are coming to Minecraft soon. This one kind of throws me back to this video that we did right here about a month or so ago, Tinycraft. Tinycraft, one of the biggest things that pulls it all off, aside from being just straight up beautiful and a cool concept, is a unique camera angle. Imagining some of these unique angles just being fully built into the game, almost like where you could hit, say, F5 and change the angle to maybe something even more cool and new. Wow, that's amazing. How to open chat, toast assets. So toasts are those tiny little informational pop-ups that'll pop up on your screen when you do something new. For example, get a new block and get a recipe. There is a brand new toast that'll pop up in your world if you have commands enabled or if somebody hops on. For whatever reason, I've been messing around with it and I can't get it to pop up, but yeah, it basically just shows you how to actually open chat. And then tragically, I didn't know if I should begin the video with this or what, but Sad news, it seems all references to the bundle UI tooltip have been removed. Bundles are delayed. Again. At this point, I genuinely wonder what's going on with this thing, and uh, uh, is it ever actually going to make it to the game? Oh yeah, I guess we should rewind a little bit. For those of you out of the loop, this was like a while ago. Like it had to be somewhere shortly after the release of 1.20. Tool tips for the bundle were actually added to the game. I definitely talked about it in an earlier preview video that you could totally find inside of the playlist on screen right now because we're at the end of today's video. The brand new Minecraft leaks and the two most recent previews smashing combined into one. Is Minecraft 1.21 and 21.10 being smashed and combined too? All of your thoughts, you drop them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Tap that like button, subscribe for more. It's been me, Waddles, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.